How you doing? I'm Mike. I'm the armorer here at Yankee Hill Machine Company and today I'm going to be going over how to correctly install your new YHM QD muzzle brake. As with any firearms maintenance you want to make sure that your weapon is unloaded and in its safest possible condition before you begin. This is what you're going to need right here. 3 quarter inch wrench, nylon brush, set of shims, and your QD muzzle brake. First step, you want to remove any existing muzzle device that you have on your barrel. Be sure to remove the crush washer. With YHM QD mounts, don't ever use a crush washer, lock washer, or peel washer. These can cause misalignment that could lead to a baffle strike. Only use the shims that come with the mount. Step two, be sure to clean the threads with your brush. Make sure that there's no debris or dirt or anything on here that can get bound up between the threads of the barrel and the threads of the QD mount. Step three, by hand, thread on your new YHM QD muzzle brake until it gets all the way to the shoulder behind the threads and won't go any farther. Step four, you want to unscrew the brake just until it sits at its proper alignment. You want the closed portion to face straight down and the top row of ports to face straight up. Once you hit that point, give it about an eighth of a turn more. Step five. Take a look at the gap between the muzzle brake and the shoulder of the barrel. We'll use this as a guide for selecting which shims to install. The shims included in the kit come in varying thicknesses. Try to start with the thickest shims first to use as few shims as possible. Step six, remove your brake and install your shims. Reattach your QD mount, hand tight until it stops. Using the wrench, tighten the muzzle brake to between 20 and 30 foot-pounds. And that's it! You're ready to hit the range. Thanks a lot for watching. Be sure to visit YHM.net for more product information and instructional videos.